Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The U.S. government erected a lighthouse in Natchez in 1828, located, according to one observer, on the proud preeminence on the promenade in front of our city. The first light keep was Joseph Bowman, although according to some accounts, the lighthouse was not lighted during most of its history. When completed, a local newspaper, the Natchez Ariel, described the lighthouse as, and I quote, a noble, grand, and magnificent structure, the offspring of genius, taste, and science, decorated with every ornament that the orders of architecture could furnish. It throws a blaze of glory over everything round it, the majestic torrent on one side, the beautiful town on the other, like some mighty conqueror whom fate of war has raised to the highest elevation, it seems to survey with contempt the paltry objects around it. The brilliant illumination of the lighthouse throws over the shadows of night, tints the most beautiful, and hopes the most cheering to the desponding mariner. When the pyramids of Egypt and the pillars of Hercules have crumbled into dust, when the tumulus of Achilles and the rocky tomb of Napoleon shall have passed from the pages of history, Still may the lighthouse remain on the bluffs at Natchez. The paper predicted that the everlasting hills would melt away and the boundless ocean dry up long before the Natchez lighthouse showed the smallest signs of decay. The lighthouse was destroyed in the 1840 tornado. Hi, I'm Paige Ogden, recently retired president of Britton Coombs Bank, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.